Hey everyone, my name is Tommy, and welcome to my Mario Minute. So, based by the title of this episode, I'm sure there's a few people that are probably quite confused about what I'm talking about. So, a little background context. Um, I've been streaming on Twitch for quite some time, and I used to do it with a friend. And we were playing Super Mario World, and I referred to a charging chuck as a poodle. And he kind of just paused the game and looked at me like I was crazy. He had no idea what I was talking about. So, I've been meaning to explain it for quite some time, and I thought I'd take, take a minute to kind of share my thoughts about why I see a charge and chuck as a poodle. Okay, so, the charge and chuck was first introduced in Super Mario World back in 91. And in the manual, you're looking through the manual, you can see the different characters that will be in this game. And here's the charge and chuck. It does not look like a poodle at all. However, when I took this picture and image, and then they translated it to the pixelated 16-bit version that you know from the game, that's where that looks like a poodle. So not a poodle, yes a poodle. But not necessarily a poodle. <laughs> so when you think of dogs, they've got noses that I believe are mostly black. There might be different colors here and there, but for the most part, I picture dog noses as black. So he's wearing a football helmet, but when they translate that to the pixelated version, and he's facing front, you can see there's a black rectangle in the mask of the football helmet. And that looks like the dog nose. So that's where I get the dog from. Now the poodle aspect comes from when he's charging. I know that he's a charging chuck, and I know now that he charges like this, like he's running after you. But when his fist is in the back, and this is that circle, that's where I got the poodle from. Poodles often have their fur trimmed in such a way where they look very poofy and round. And so when I see the charge and chuck running like this, and his fist is in the back, it looks like a poodle tail on the back of a poodle. And then when you see like a dog show, and they're running around the ring, they're like taking little dainty steps like this, do 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 do. And when charge and chuck charges after you, his feet do that same kind of thing as what a dog does. So I took the concept of his fist being the tail, and those daintily walking, or running, charging, however you want to say it, um, after you, and put those together to make it into a poodle. So he's got the nose, he's got the tail, and he's got the walk. And I know, I do know now that it is a charging football player kind of thing like this, who does not look like a poodle, once again, but just from the pixelated version, how it kind of came together, I've always seen it as a poodle, a dog mostly, but a poodle for the sense of the tail and all the round shapes that poodles often are affiliated with. So whenever I say that a charging chuck is a poodle, that's where my mind is going. I'm seeing it as a dog chasing after you. And I know, I know, I know it's not, I know it's a football player kind of Koopa Troopa thing in a uniform, but in my mind it will always be a poodle charging after you. So there is my explanation of why I see a charging chuck as a poodle. My brain goes crazy places sometimes, and that's just one of them. So I just wanted to explain that concept, because it's been long overdue. I've had this going on with people since five years ago or so. Uh, but yeah, so charging chuck equals a poodle. Stick into it. So, short little episode. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye.